Welcome to Channel 17, the Town of Colony Government Channel. I'm Mrs. Growney, and I'm your storyteller for today. And when we say hello, you wave your hand, right? So let's all wave our hand and sing a song to go with that wave. Are you ready? Hello, everybody, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, everybody, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. And if you want to see the pictures, what are you going to use? Your eyes? All right, let's say hello to our eyes. Hello to my eyes, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my eyes, and how are you? Yes, indeed, my darling. Then if you want to hear the stories, what are we going to use? Our ears. Let's say hello to our ears. Hello to my ears, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello to my ears, and how are you? Yes. Indeed, my darling. Now we're going to do the silly part because we got to warm up our lips. Are you ready? Hello, yes, indeed, my darling. Okay. I'm going to sing you a little song, and when I'm done, I'm going to ask you if you know what we're going to tell, what my stories are going to be about today. And this is my song. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I'd slither across the floor, I'd slip out the door. Oh, I wish I was a slippery, silly snake. What do you think our stories are going to be about today? A snake. A snake. That's right. I have a story about some snakes that are hidden. And I'm going to see if you guys can find this snake. It's called, this sto story is called Hide and Snake. Ready or not, here I go. Can you see what color our snake is? This is what we're going to be looking for. I'm looping through the yarn. Can you see that snake that's looping through the yarn? Can you see him? Looping through the yarn. Curling round the hats. Can you see him now? There he is. Wrapping round the presents. This is kind of tricky because that really is a ribbon. Got to look over here and find him. There's his tail. There he is. And napping with the cats. Can you see our snake friend? There he is. There's his tail. What do you think the cats think about that? I'm frosting the cakes. Can you see our, our snake with the frosting? Frosting the cakes. There he is. And ticking with the clocks. This one's kind of tricky. You've got to look for his tail. Do you see it? Here he is. And then look way up here. If you look real closely, you see his eyes. 
melting in the ice cream. I bet you all see him now, don't you? Right there he is. And sliding through the socks. Oh, the socks have so many colors. Can you see him? There he is. See him? He's I think he's it. And look, he came out. There he is. I'm playing with the toys. Look, he's even in the toy, isn't he? He's, sm he's smiling right down here. Twisting round the vases. See him? He's twisting round the vases. Weaving through the baskets. Do you see him? the baskets. His head's right up here by the grapes. And tangling with the laces. Can you see him? Look. He makes a big fat lace, doesn't he? I'm hiding from you. Do we see him? We can see him. Oh, but let's look. Is that him? No, I'm in so many places. So that was a fool. Fool ya, right? That was the host. But there he is. He's slithering off to hide and snake somewhere else. Very good. That was good looking. You guys spotted him. Story about um, a little boy or girl who wants to get a dog. And let's see what the mother says about dogs. Mother doesn't want a dog. Mother says they smell. And never sit when you say sit, or even when you yell. And when you come home late at night, and there is ice and snow, you have to go back out because the dumb dog has to go. Mother doesn't want a dog. Mother says they shed. And always let the strangers in and bark at friends instead. And do disgraceful things on rugs and track mud on your floor. And flop upon your bed at night and snore their doggy snores. Mother doesn't want a dog. She's making a mistake because more than a dog, I think, my mother will not want this snake! <laughs> What do you think? Do you think your moms will want a snake like that? Maybe? Well, this is a snake right over here, isn't it? And this snake would like, hello? This snake is going to show you how to do a rattlesnake dance. One desert day, hot as a frying pan, a rattlesnake slithered across the sand. He found a small hole neath a jagged rock. It was shady and cool, and he was no rattlesnake cool. The crevice turned into a passageway that led underground into a massive cave. The snake slid along the darkened room, and he found a wall and coiled into a ball. Then all of a sudden he started to shake and went into some kind of trance. His neck began swaying, his tail it rattled. He was doing the rattlesnake dance. Like ghosts from the depths of the sandy cave came more rattlers Feeling the rhythmic wave. 
Soon the place was crawling with rattlesnakes all hissing away, getting those spooky shakes. They wiggled and squirmed and rattled their tails, all glassy-eyed, deep in a trance. They raised their head and swayed side to side. They were doing the rattlesnake dance. The underground ball lasted many days. The snakes were caught up in the dancing craze. Then one by one, the rattlers left the cave. They had snapped out of their trance. It was the end of the dance. But they'll be back this time next year. It's something they won't want to miss. A dance like this is pure rattlesnake bliss where they can wiggle and squirm and sway side to side under a powerful trance. They slither and hiss and rattle their tails, all doing the rattlesnake dance. You can do the rattlesnake dance too. Just hold your arms down at your sides and sway side to side like a snake. That's it. Now hiss. Everybody hiss. Hiss. Very good. Okay, we see some snakes up here. How many snakes do you see? One. Just one. And what color is it? Blue. It's blue snake. That's right. Well, I have a story about these snakes here, this snake here. Down beside the lake, one lazy snake is a sunnin on a rock. Slither, slither. Run, for here comes another. How many are there now? Two. two. Down beside the lake, two lazy snakes are sunning on a rock. Slither, slither, run. Here comes another one. How many are there now? Three. Three. Down beside the lake, three lazy snakes are sunning on a rock. Slither, slither, run, for here comes another. How many do we have now? Four. Four. Down beside the lake, four snakes are sunning on a rock. Slither, slither, run, for here comes another. How many are there now? Five. Five. Down beside the lake, five lazy snakes are sunning on a rock. Now I'd better run before another comes. Because we, we have to watch when we're around snakes, don't we? I have another story about these five snakes. And this time we don't need the rocks, but we need a chair. This is my mother's chair. And let's count and see how many snakes are under my mother's chair. One, two, count with me, three, four, five. Do you think your mother would like to sit on a chair that has five snakes under it? Do you think? She thinks not. Well, show me five. Five little snakes hid under mom's chair. My brother grabbed the, what color? Red one, leaving four there. Four little snakes snakes 
swinging in a tree, the blue one slipped and fell, and then there were three. Three little snakes wondering what to do. The yellow one took a nap, and now there are two. two. Two little snakes basking in the sun. The brown one slithered off, leaving only one, one little snake. One little, what color snake? Green. Green snake, lonely as could be, went looking for some fun and came and played with me. Nice snake, nice snake. If we look on the back of our sheets, we will see this, a story about a snake. And I'm going to do it once, and then you guys can do it with me, okay? So watch closely. Here is a box. Here is a box. And here is the lid. I wonder what's hidden in, inside. I wonder whatever is hidden inside. Why? It's a snake! All right. Now, what I thought you guys could all do, come on up here. If you want to put a snake in your hand, come on up here. You want to come up and put a snake? Come on, you can put a snake in your hand. Would you like to have this one? Yes. Okay, put this in right in your hand. Here, turn around here, and we'll do it. You want to put one in your hand? Does he want to come up and put it? Or does he want to come up and put All right, you and me are on our own. Here we go. All right, here we go. You want to, we're going to put it in our hand like that. And then this is going to be our lid. Okay? All right, ready? You guys, since you didn't want to come up, you have to be my, you have to say the words really loud, and your moms can help you, and your grandmas can help too. Okay, ready? Here is a box, and here is a lid. I wonder whatever inside is hid. We have to look now. Look inside. <gasps> Why, it's a snake. Very good. Thank you for your help. Good job. All right, while we're over there, let's do our song about all the snakes. And uh, we have to be slithering. Can you all slither like this? Slither like this. And then you have to make a hissing sound. Can you make a hissing sound? Oh, you're going to be very good. And then you have to smell with your tongue. You can try to touch your tongue with your. That's what the. Did you know that's what a snake does? He smells with his tongue. All right, here we go. All the snakes are slithering, slithering, slithering. All the snakes are slithering across the grass. All the snakes are hiss, hiss. Hiss, 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 hiss. All the snakes are hiss, 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 and smile at the sun. Snakes smell with their tongues, with their tongues, with their tongues, with their tongues. Snakes smell with their tongues, and they can smell you. They can. Okay. Okay. While you guys eat your snakes in the grass, I'm going to read you about a class two at the zoo. Let's see what happens to class two at the zoo. On the day class two went to the zoo, they saw a koala kissing a kangaroo. They saw a giraffe having a laugh. They didn't see the anaconda. They heard the teacher say, we must keep together. Don't wander off and watch the weather. They saw the parrots squabbling in the sky, but they didn't see.
see the anaconda sigh and open one eye to spy on class two as they walked through the zoo. They saw the hippos hopping in the dirt. They saw the monkeys eating chocolate dessert. But they didn't see the anaconda ponder. Then slide from the water and start to wander. After class two on their trip through the zoo, some of them walking two by two. They saw the spotted cheetahs running a mile. They saw two gorillas jumping a stile. But they failed to see that huge reptile. Open his jaws and swallow Kyle. They didn't see that giant snake make a meal of James and Jake. They didn't see that twisty beast add Diana to their feast. They didn't see that greedy eater gulp down Gertie and Anita. And it was creeping up on class two's teacher when Molly turned and saw the creature. Look out, she cried, alas, too late. Teacher was gone, and so was Kate. Well, most of Kate, so Molly was quick. She grabbed hold of a sturdy stick. Without a single moment's pause, she stuck it in between the monster's jaws. Come on, she urged the rest of class two as she grabbed Kate's feet to the rescue. The rest of class two all heaved and tugged till Kate popped out like a rubber plug. Then out came teacher and Gertie and Anita, Diana and Jake and James and Kyle, his smile as wide as a crocodile. Then they saw a boy they didn't know. Thank you, he said. My name is Joe. Phew! said class two as they fled from the zoo. Let this be a terrible warning for you. If you ever go on a safari or visit a zoo, keep your eyes open, whatever you do. Watch out for the snake lying low in the lake. And if you see the anaconda open an eye and start to wander, don't even, ponce, don't even for a second ponder, run. So he lost his meal, didn't he? Because Molly was on the ball. That Molly was something. It came from the story, Mouse Count. Mouse Count. So if you like this story, Act It Out with this Snake, then you can get this book. And you can read this book about Mouse Count by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Okay? One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. Can you see my mice? playing all around the meadow. They were careful to watch out for snakes, but they got very sleepy and they forgot about the snakes and they all took naps. While they slept, a hungry snake went looking for some dinner. He's looking. He's gonna look back here. And on his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner. Well, it wasn't too long before he found three mice. They were sleeping, remember? First, I will count them and then I will eat them up. Mouse count. Whoop. And when 
almost woke up. One. Perhaps you boys and girls could help me count. Two, that's right. Three, that's right. So how many mice do I have in my jar? Three, that's right. Well, he dropped them all in the jar, but he was still very hungry and he went looking for more. Soon he found four more mice, warm and tasty, but fast asleep. And he counted them. Remember, we have three in there, so if we add one more, what do we have? Four. Five. Six. Seven. But he was very, very hungry, and seven mice just simply was not enough. At last he found three more mice, warm and tasty, but fast asleep. We had seven, remember? Eight. Nine. Ooh, that one might have woken up, but I got him. Ten. Ten mice are enough. Now I'm going to eat you up, little warm and tasty mice. But one mouse was clever, and he called out, Wait! Wait! The jar isn't full yet. Look over at that tree. There's another right beside it over there. Well, the snake was very greedy, and he hurried off to get that mousy. Sneaking up on it. But once he left, the mouse, mice in the jar they pushed that jar one way and the other, and finally it went over. And help me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten little mice uncounted themselves and ran home. Well, that snake reached the tree and went to grab that mouse. This isn't a mouse, it's a Say it loud, what is it? It's a rock. And he slithered back to his jar to find the jar was empty. So he got no mice, did he? No, he didn't. The mice got away. Well, <clears throat> I have one more story to do, and then we have another uh, flannel board to do, and then we'll do a craft. This story is about that snake, and he's a pet snake, and sometimes if your dog or your cat or your snake gets dirty, then you have to clean them up. Let's find out if this snake, the boa constrictor, liked to have a bath. With soap in hand and hot water, I called my boa to the spot. It's dinner time, I sweetly lied, but not a sound did he reply. As silent as a mouse can be, my grubby boa hid from me. 
refusing always to be scrubbed. Oh, how he hates that steaming tub. I shook his box a boa chow and hoped the sound would lure him out, but he refused to show his face outside his secret boa place. Fed up with hide-and-seek type games, I called my warning as I came. Prepare for battle if you must. This time I vow it's clean or bust. I looked inside his boa house and found he wasn't there. I peeked into his favorite room and saw his empty chair. At last I searched the bedroom where I noticed in a bit that he'd hidden in the toy box, but his tail did not quite fit. Aha! I squealed and grabbed him fast, but holding him just couldn't last, for a boa has no greater wrath than when he doesn't want a bath. We tossed and tumbled, fell and rolled. He slithered and swayed, but I held my hold. Then with a twist, a snake-like style, he shook me off into a pile. Back on my feet and chasing fast, I caught him in a tighter grasp. This time I knew I had to win and get him to that tub and in. Then finally with the bath in view, I gave a shove, but he did too. And tail over feet, boa over limb, we hit the water, me first, then him. I should have known that I'd get wet, for every time I bathe my pet, this very thing is what I see, my boa <laughs> ends up scrubbing me. Look how happy he looks. I think he won. I have a song about a boa constrictor. In fact, I had a boa. Right here I have that boa. Do you see him? Well, guess what? I am going to go inside the boa constrictor. Oh. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. And I don't like it very much. Oh, no. Oh, no. He swallowed my toes. He swallowed my toes. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. He's up to my knee. He's up to my knee. Oh, fiddle. Oh, fiddle. He's up to my middle. He's up to my middle. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. He's up to my neck. He's up to my neck. Oh, dread. Oh, dread. He swallowed my... Oh. But I'm not really. No, nope, here I am, no. Did you like that silly song? Yeah. You guys can <laughs> spell. I'm going to spell a word out here, and you tell me if you can spell it. Tell me what word letter is that? That's an S. That's right. And now what do we get? N. N. You're a very smart little girl. What's next? A, very good. We're going to wait for you. Here we go. What's this? K. That's a K. Okay, everybody, what's this letter? E. E, very good. And you know what it spells? S-N-A-K-E. -E. It, it spells? Snake. I think we should have a snake or two around, don't you? <coughs> okay. And this is the song, and you guys will catch on. It's on your sheets, moms and grandmas. I had a snake, and he, he was so fast, as fast as snakes can be. Oh, everybody count, spell with me. S-N-A-K-E, S-N-A-K-E, S-N-A-K-E. And he is my favorite snake. I had a snake and he was so green, as green as snakes can be, oh, snake, S-N-A-K-E, 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 he is my favorite snake, 
I had a snake and he waved goodbye. He waved goodbye to me. S-N-A-K-E, S-N-A-K-E, S-N-A-K-E. He was my favorite snake. Very good. And you guys are going to make a snake to take home. Look at that cool snake. Isn't that cool? Yeah, and you can hang it up in your room. Before we do that, though, we're going to sing our Put Away Your Picture Book song. So let's all get out our picture books and close them up for the day. Ready? Put away your picture book. Put away your ball. Happy times go quickly by for people big and small. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Goodbye to all. And thank you for coming.